Hello and welcome to Woodland Sticks. This will be video number seven. I've had a lot of interest in thumbsticks. People are saying which way up does the thumbstick need to go because the heaviness of a thumbstick is on the bottom and is there anything you can do about it? But no, there's not anything you can do about it. All you're looking for in a thumbstick is to try and get a V. If you can get a nice V with two even sized tines, that's really what you're looking for and a decent length. But as for the thickness at the bottom, that's just one of them things, there's nothing you can do about it. These are a lovely thing to make when you first start making sticks. You just go along your hedgerows and look for a piece at the top. The other thing is if you cut several of these, if you're not happy with the top or you've got a real nice taper to it, you can always cut that piece off and then use it that way and put a handle on the top. So if you see one with a, t uh, a V on the top when you're out stick cutting, it's always better to cut it. Leave your V on, leave a good bit of length onto it, sort of like that on each one. Then when they're seasoned up, you can cut them down, just round them off. Sometimes you'll have to dig out a little piece to make room to get your thumb in and out easily enough. But the odd time you do get one where it is big enough, where it's come off at a better angle for you to, to um, get your thumb into. They're a nice stick to work with and walk with. So you lean on them, there's different ways people lean on them, you'll sit with them under the show, under their arm like that, or leaning like that. A ah, good, good comfortable stick. But as I say, the, the weight on the bottom doesn't really make a lot of difference, really. It, it just swings a bit heavier, but this is a, a nice one I've done. I, it's not a V, it's sort of a letter L, but... I think it look wise and, and for comfort, I think that's a, a lovely little stick. I'm quite pleased with that one. I should be looking to see if I can find any more, but I say, you know, often you get anything to go off at a, a dead right angle. But yeah, any sticks you look for, you'll find your thumb stick. There's another one there that's, that's just been seasoned. That's quite an unusual one, that's a blackthorn. Uh, and that's quite a nice V, nice open V. So that would be quite a prized stick. And with a nice taper to it, that would also make a lovely stick turn that way up. So I've got a nice, nice run down taper to that, which makes a nice stick. So the choice there is quite a hard choice, just deciding whether to cut the head off and turn it into a shank or leave that on as a thumbstick but yes so the, the the weight on the bottom makes no difference so i i hope that's just sort of answered one or two of your questions that you you've posted to me so good luck with your stick making and uh we'll find you another subject in a little while when we 